In this session, we will try to discuss about male external genital organs. Here I have drawn few structures. Let me introduce those structures what I have drawn. This is articulated pelvis and this is cut section of pelvis with pelvic organs. See, this is articulated pelvis. I have taken the section like this. That means I have taken the sagittal section and we are seeing from the side. So, this is cut section of pelvis. So, this is symphysis pubis. This is section of penis and this is scrotal sac with testis, epididymis and vas deferens and this is urinary bladder section and this is rectum, this is prostate gland, this is seminal vesicles and this is vas deferens. And what are these? Common iliac artery, common iliac vein. External iliac artery, external iliac vein. Internal iliac artery, internal iliac vein. And what are these? This is superior vesicle artery and the obliterated umbilical artery and these are obturator vessels and what is this ureter then what is this sacrum and this is hip bone in this session we are going to discuss scrotal sac testis epididymis vas deferens and penis right we will discuss one by one first we will discuss about scrotal sac scrotal sac is cutaneous bag which is present in the lower part of the abdomen which contains testis that means both right and left testis will be located in the scrotal sac why scrotal sac is present outside the abdominal cavity because spermatogenesis needs lesser temperature so if the testis is present in the abdominal cavity that means in the pelvic cavity spermatogenesis cannot be occur because spermatogenesis needs lower temperature so that's what scrotal sac is present outside the pelvic cavity and it is present in the lower part of the abdominal cavity right so first if you take the scrotal sac this is penis and this is scrotal sac scrotal sac is cutaneous corrugated pigmented sac it is externally divided by one ridge or raphe so if you see from the anterior view this is penis and this is scrotal sac so this is penis, this is scrotal sac and here you can form the anal canal. So, scrotal sac is divided into two halves by one median raphe. This median raphe what we are calling ridge or raphe. This raphe anteriorly extends under the surface of penis. Posteriorly, it extends through the middle of the perineum and reaches to the anus. Right? So, this is median raphe. This median raphe divides the scrotal sac externally into two halves. Right? Then internally what will be divided, we will see later. Then left half of the scrotum will be little lower than the right half of the scrotum. Because left testis is present little lower than the right testis. Because left vas deferens is longer than the right vas deferens. Scrotal sac is shorter in the cold temperature and the young individuals. But in case of warm temperature and in the weak and old individuals, scrotal sac will be descending down because of relaxation of subcutaneous muscle called dorotas muscle. So when the dorotas muscle is contracted, scrotal sac is shorter and scrotal sac will be intimately applied to the testis. Right? Then what are all the layers which are present in the scrotal sac? From outside to inside, this is skin. After skin, you can found one muscle, subcutaneous muscle. What is that subcutaneous muscle? That subcutaneous muscle what we are calling dorotas muscle. So this is dorotas muscle. After dorotas muscle, you can found external spermatic fascia. What is that fascia called? External spermatic fascia. So this is external spermatic fascia. Actually, it is derived from the external oblique abdominis muscle. Right? Then, cremastric muscle and cremastric fascia. Next to that, cremastric muscle and cremastric fascia. So, here, cremastric muscle and cremastric fascia. So, this is cremastric muscle and cremastric fascia. Cremastric muscle and cremastric fascia derived from the internal oblique abdominis. And transverse abdominis muscle right then internal spermatic fascia this is innermost layer is internal spermatic fascia what is this fascia 
internal spermatic fascia it is derived from the transverse abdominal spermatic fascia right so these are the layers from outside to inside if you wanted to be very specific you can found one more layer after dotas muscle that is colis fascia actually colis fascia in the abdomen it will be continuous as fascia scarpa so these are the different layers which are present in the scrotum right let me tell you one more time skin superficial fascia actually superficial fascia modified as dotas muscle and colis fascia then external spermatic fascia derived from the external obliquial muscle then cremastic muscle and cremastic fascia then internal spermatic fascia within this sac you can found testis these are the different layers which are present in the scrotal sac we have seen that total sac will be divided externally by raphe or ridge but internally two sacs will be separated by one median septum that median septum is formed by this dotas muscle dotas muscle in the median part will be fused and forms the septum that septum will separate the two scrotal sacs now we will see what is the blood supply of scrotal sac it is supplied by superficial external pudendal artery deep external pudendal artery these are the branches from the femoral artery then scrotal branch of internal pudendal artery then cremastic branch of inferior epigastric artery inferior epigastric artery is branch from the external iliac artery so these are the blood vessels which are supplying to the scrotal sac then nerve supply see here we are dividing the scrotal sac into anterior one third posterior two third anterior one third supplied by l1 spinal segment and uh, posterior two third of scrotal sac supplied by s3 spinal segment right that means this anterior one third is supplied by ilio inguinal nerve genital branch of genito femoral nerve ilio inguinal nerve and genital branch of genito femoral nerve right then posterior two third supplied by posterior scrotal nerve it is branch from the pudendal nerve then perineal branch of posterior cutaneous nerve of thigh right so these are derived from the s3 segment so the area which is supplied by l1 spinal segment and s3 spinal segment separated by one line that line what we are calling ventral axial line clear so this is the innervation or nerve supply of scrotal sac then applied aspects scrotal sac is most dependent area and also most laxity area that's what it is common site for the edema or accumulation of fluid because of laxity and dependent position scrotal sac is most common site of edema see here nerve supply of scrotal sac is from the l1 spinal segment and s3 spinal segment so these are widely separated dermatomes that's what spinal anesthesia of whole scrotal sac will be difficult to achieve then scrotal sac contains abundant hairs and sebaceous glands that's what sebaceous cysts are more common in the scrotal sac then in pseudo hermaphrodite individuals we can observe bifid scrotal sac that means scrotal sac will be divided into two halves right in the pseudo hermaphroditism another applied aspect is hydrocele actually we will discuss hydrocele in the testis itself but just i will tell you briefly about hydrocele testis surrounded by tunica vaginalis tunica vaginalis having two layers one layer is intimately covers the testis and another layer is present outside that means it is having peripheral layer and visceral layer in between the peripheral layer and visceral layer we can found very thin film of fluid that means very small amount of fluid will be present but if this sac is contains more amount of fluid or accumulation of more amount of fluid in between the visceral layer and parietal layer of tunica vaginalis that condition what we are calling hydrocel in that condition we have to remove that that means we have to tap so if you want to tap or if you want to remove the fluid we have to pierce the needle through all these layers what are the layers skin dotas muscle external spermatic fascia cremastic muscle and its fascia internal spermatic fascia then parietal layer of tunica vaginalis right so these are all the layers we have to pierce to tap the hydrocele so this is about scrotal sac